Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Carl Computer Automated Resource Locator, shall we? Well, already, the synthed out 16-bit soundtrack and these awesome pixel graphics have my attention as an old school gamer and I'm excited to play the game. So this is uh, co-created, I do believe, by the designer of a robot named Fight that we've played on the channel and is an awesome Metroidvania roguelike. And this game is kind of of that era, but is more puzzly and was described um, by the developer as paper, Super Paper Mario with some other influences thrown in, and I just can't wait to see what this is. So, I'm playing with the controller uh, to see how that goes, and I'm going to start playing this. I'm playing on PC, by the way. I'm pretty sure this is on uh, many different systems. Switch, for example. Uh, so, you can get this on different platforms, and let's dive in. We're going to just pick a new file. Wow. Yep. Typing it in DOS. New parts. What are we going to get? Partitions up. We rebooted. The Kent Lab bot BIOS coming up. Carl is successful. Hello, Carl. Preparing for reactivation. All systems online. My directives are to find three tech units and escape the facility. All right. Time to start. <laughs> nice. Look at that awesome fan. Oh boy, I've been thrown into the facility. This is a special ops mission. Oh, okay. I'm a little robot with headphones and a cool hat. Looks like I need to get three parts, and I have three wrenches, which I'm assuming are my health. Awesome. All right, so... Andrew Kanadi and Morningstar Game Studio. Let's see what you got for us. We got a little tutorial. Push A to jump. Got it. Oh, this is... Oh, we can jump really far. Man, we can jump really high. Awesome. Oh, I can shoot a little bit. Press X to shoot. Indeed. So I'm getting some Mega Man, but... Oh, I got 15 parts. Uh, let's see. Okay, looks like I'm saving it on a three and a half inch floppy and we need to collect all tech units to exit the level fantastic all right and okay made it all right so this box can i move this no but oh i broke it well i don't know if i meant to do that but we did it all right i can't quite jump up that high all right, so let's just blast our way through. Getting some scrap parts. Great, we got a part, and we open the door, rolling. Blow it up. Open that door, boom. So they're lightly introducing the puzzle elements, and now we have all three tech parts. We just need to find the way out. And um, step on the elevator to exit. So this is the elevator here. Boom, we got an achievement called Clean Boot. How about that? Oh, we got dumped into a little uh, inter-level segue. The door is locked. Sweet. All right. Let's go. Going in the pipe. Little Mario action. 
I have a very happy face. Ooh, look at that dirt. Love it. Feeling the Dig Dug vibes. Wow. All right. Oh, look at all that. Oh, there was a uh, companion cube down there. All right. Fun. Okay. And here is the absolutely insanely tall security fence. And um, can, let's see. We're on the road. And um, I push up and I can look at it. Okay. Looks like I need to go through the forest here. Oh, here's my escape van. Let's get in the surveillance van. Oh, look at, who's this dude? No, no, no. Where could he be? I'm right here, dude. Dot, dot, dot. Carl, you're back. That's right, I'm back. You had me so worried. And you managed to bring the tech units. This may work after all. That's right, you can trust Carl. You're one resourceful little bot, huh? Ha! You got that right. This guy kind of looks like Shigeru Miyamoto, um, a bit, but we'll find out. <laughs> These will be invaluable to my research, and no doubt Kent will be sent back by the loss. Thank you, Carl. I know you may still be getting your bearings, but I must ask you to help me again. We have so little time. Please go back inside and see what more you can find. Anything. Everything. All right. We have to do everything we can to slow his progress. All right. So I feel kind of like, you know, he's a Dr. Light kind of dude helping out the bot. I hate to ask this of you after everything you've been through, but please, will you help me? I love it when games give you this option to, like, basically accept the main quest. I'm going to do it. Thank you, Carl. I'll get to work immediately, and we'll be here awaiting your return. And please, Carl, be safe. You got that right, buddy. All right. So, looks like I can't drive his awesome vehicle, but we can do this. All right, we got to go back in, so I guess I just go back down the pipe. And you can push A to kind of skip that little going down screen and we push up oh and we're in another level but it's dark oh my god evil red eyes alert intruder detected in waste management engaging target uh oh he's coming at me I can't shoot <laughs> he just stands there ah I'm just kidding oh look on your face though priceless heh <laughs> I hope I didn't spook you too bad. You actually kind of did. He's got a little Triforce on him. Oh, right. The introduction. What's my line again? Welcome to the dump. I love how the dump is an acronym. Ah, yes. Welcome to the dump. That stands for Depot of Unusable Machinery and Parts. Very clever. My name's Hal. Oh. I'm here to introduce you to our bustling metropolis. Nothing like a little Arthur C. Clarke reference to our robotic friend. I can totally trust Hal. Let me guess. Were you injured on the job, replaced with a new model? Or did Kent just get tired of you? Um, I've heard it all, kiddo. Everyone down here is a bot that was once down on their luck, just like yourself. But everyone finds a new life here in the dump. And I know you'll feel right at home in no time. Why don't you check out the Robo Bar? Or maybe give Madame a visit at her tent? Oh boy. The acronyms are unbelievable and appropriate for corporations. Uh, corporate lingo and robots. All right. Hey, buddy. How are you enjoying your new life in the dump? Make sure to let me know if I can help in any way. We're happy to have you here. Great. Um, so there's the robo bar. Fantastic. Uh, looks like they got some oil. Let's go inside. Let's check out the robo bar. 
All right, look at this guy. Hey, pal, welcome to the Robo Bar. Always happy to see new faces and old friends alike. What's your name again? Carl, is it? That's right. Good to see you, buddy. What's your pick? Um, so I can buy stuff for scrap. I have 80 of it, but I don't want to buy some kind of rainbow drink at the moment. Um, nothing. Maybe next time, huh, bud? Have a good one. I'm going to save up and see what we need. Now, let's take in the artwork. So, actually, um, I was pointed in the direction by the developer of Cave Story as an inspiration. And you see a little Cave Story photograph. You also see, uh, it looks like a photograph of the Nintendo robot. The good buddy who could play Ice Climber and some other not so good games with you but if you can find a, a working Nintendo robot that's worth a little bit of cash there's a nice jukebox and it looks like dogs playing poker except with a telephone a toaster and a desk fan awesome and who's this hi my name's Arpa I'm the Arcade Repair and Programming Android. I'm working on a new game right now. Come check it out later if you're interested. Alright, dude. Cool. What do we got? Hey, watch it. If you can't just go pressing someone's buttons like that. Uh-oh, the jukebox is mad. Name's Duke. You new here? I feel like I've seen you before, but these old sensors aren't what they used to be. I'm a great singer. Well, I was. The boss got himself one of those MP3 players. Threw me out. Guess some folks just don't appreciate the classics. But hey, things could be worse. Got myself a nice gig here at the Robo Bar. Always a silver lining. Nice. Cool. Alright. So when I have a little bit more scrap, I might purchase a drink. Oh my, I fell through the ground. I wasn't paying attention at the floor. Um, oh, okay. So it looks like I can go here because I have three parts. So we could go to that level maybe. So this is like a central hub. Uh, let's see. Blaster. Oh, the, the bumper is switched between your weapons. I only have the blaster. Who's this guy dressed up like a robot? Beep boop. Hello, fellow robot. Please identify yourself. Ah, Carl, is it fascinating? I must make a note of this information. Oh, me? The name's Doug. No acronym. Nice to meet you. What's up, Doug? Uh, I mean, Doug. The digital organism of unimportant genesis. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. He did make an acronym. That's silly. I'm just running some calculations. Don't mind me. Bleep, blorp, bzz. Have a nice robot day. Indeed. All right, you can shoot down here. I'm just kind of looking for secrets, seeing if there's anything that shakes loose. And... Look, there's a little thing over there. Can I get that? Alright. And I came out here. Looks like a little hospital. Alright. And we go in. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm the free roaming automated repair technician. Uh, but folks down here just call me Doc. That's hilarious. He's a fart. Um, but we're just going to call him Doc. Don't question it. I'm the best mechanic in town, bar none. Come see me whenever you find some new modules you'd like installed, or if you just need a routine tune-up. All right, buddy. I can do that. Thanks, fart. I mean, heh <laughs> heh doc. Now, can this sprinkler... Is this a sprinkler or a fan? Can this lift me up? It sure can. It's a fan. All right, great. And we can go through that, too. But I want to break these boxes down here. Hmm... It felt like before I could just kind of nudge it and I was breaking it, but I guess I'm not. And let's just see uh, if there's any path to me getting there. Not at the moment. I can't shoot down right now. I can't do the old Zelda 2 downward thrust at the moment. So let's just kind of go through this tube that has windows and see what's going on here. Um, I can't shoot up either, so this doesn't look too promising for me either. So I'm going to need some new um, 
you know, exploring technology to get around to some of these other places, find the secrets. So, given all that, I think... Uh, I didn't find the Madame. Let's go f up that fan over there, see if we can just talk to all of the entry-level folk. Robots. People dressed as robots. Ah, here she is. Maybe in this tent. Uh, okay. Yep, we can get here, perhaps. Yeah, here we go. And, alright. Yeah, she's in here. There, she's got a crystal ball. Hehehehe. <laughs> Hello, little one. I am Madame, which, of course, stands for Machine Learning Android of Divination, Amusement, and Magic. If ever you find you've lost your way, come find me here and I'll help you discover your future. She's really giving me the Zoltan vibe from the movie Big. Ahem. Welcome to Madame's house of probabili probabilistic prestidigitation. Care to have your fortune read? Nah, I don't need a hint. Thank you. So this, you can come here if you need a little boost on where to go or what to do. That's cool. And I can go up this way. And then go over here. And oh, I actually can make it to some other locations. Oh, there's some weights and kettlebells and whatnot. Alright, I made it. And I made it to this camo house. Cool. Who are these? Sorry, I'm very busy listening for incoming transmissions. No time to talk. Alright, who are you? Hey, who let you in? Oh, you're that Carl fellow, aren't you? Please to make your acquaintance. I'm Sarge. Don't be surprised. We've got eyes and ears all over the factory, son. Had a feeling you might stop by. Word around the dump is you're looking to stick it to the man. The man, of course, means Kent, our good-for-nothing creator. Listen, kid. We're a part of a very elite task force with the goal of dethroning Kent for good. We'll be happy to lend a hand to your efforts in any way we can, provided you do a little espionage for us. I'm all about the espionage, dude. Looking for an upgrade, son? Medals. I got no medals. I would like all of these upgrades. Dismissed. Come back when you need some more firepower. Alright, um... What about you? Who are you? Hey, Carl. Happy to be working with you. I'm our resident weapons expert. Cool. Alright. So we're gonna need to get medals. We're gonna need to get... More scrap. We're gonna need to get a lot of things, but let's just go to a level and see what that's like. Alright, so I go over here, and let's do this one, which is probably the only one that it can do. Right, here we go. So there's a metal, there's is that a CD-ROM, and a part. And let's go to the level. Let's see what it's all about. Level 1-1. One, one. Dropping us in. Alright, so there's a tube here. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, we got him. Yeah, he's got a shield, so you need to shoot him when he's going the other way. Now, these pits, I don't know much about. Um, I don't know if, like, you know, you fall in him, you die, or, or exactly how that works. We're gonna find out. Okay. Look at those death gears down there. That didn't look good. Oh, okay. Looks like there's a green microchip up there. But I'm going to have a hard time reaching that and not hitting those gears up there. I don't even know if I can make that jump, to be perfectly honest with you. Not really. You can come out the pipe, though. That's how we got to do that. All right. Looks like there's a... Yeah, I was going to say there's something hidden in there. It's a mine. Wow. Okay, great. Oh, cool. All right. So we got uh, one of the three parts, and you found a music disc. Bring it back to Duke at the Robo Bar to give it a listen. Great. All right. We got to the checkpoint or the save point. We got some wrenches to refill our health if we've been blasted. Uh, we haven't yet, luckily. All right. That This should open the door. It does. Hopefully, it's not timed. It's not. Yep. So, red switch for a red door. Blue switch for a blue door. Awesome. And got it. 
and did it. All right, now um, it's telling me to go to the left. So I wonder if they're advising me to go left first. Um, I don't know if I go this way, if I just get blasted by those saws, if I just get pushed up inescapably into the gears up there. The pipe to the right has a locked gate on the top of it, and I don't know if that arrow is indicative of it being a one-way path and you can only go down on the pipe or not, uh, or if you can come back out it, I'm not sure, but we will find out in a moment. I'm going to go to the left, though, like the sign says, uh, hopefully being responsible, and see if we can turn off some of these fans or open the gate. All right. Uh-oh, look at that angry face on that robot when he's charging at you. The construction theme of the robots gives you that real Mega Man feel. The hard hat. All right. There's the escape elevator. Oh, okay, so the sign might not have been a directive warning me away from danger, but is simply telling you where the level exit is, as it is an exit sign. Makes sense. I didn't put that together. If you've never seen a video on this channel before, you'll slowly learn that I'm... Uh... Slow on the uptick. Alright, so we turned off the fans. Now, I don't know if this is, like, temporary or timed. Doesn't look like it. Great. Uh, I can't go down this. Find the exit. Yeah, 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 but um, before I find the exit, I didn't get the metal, and I really want to get a metal. So, I'm gonna see if I can go back and get it. I know there was a pipe, obviously, that when we started this level. So, let's see if we can use that pipe to any success. I don't know. This might be a huge waste of everyone's time. Oh boy. That's... Yeah, okay, so... I still can't get that. And yeah, the pipe is one way, but I didn't find the switch for it yet. But let's go this way. Alright, the yellow switch is mercifully on. Alright. So those lights... Okay, so let's try this. There's nothing to try. You can't get in it. Okay. Well, I wanted it to work, but it didn't. And it's interesting to... Now I have to think, like... Is the game designed in such a way that I'm supposed to return here with some new power, you know, a la... Metroid, Zelda, something like that, that would allow me to then get the metal, or am I missing some secret or something on this level that would allow me to, to acquire it? But can I make this jump? That's a no. That's a clean death. Now, I died, and it's interesting. That was a zero to... That's an insta-kill. But I don't appear to have lost anything. Like, I, I have all of my stuff, and I just go back to the checkpoint. So that's nice. I'm sure I'm not going to get a perfect score on the level if that's even a thing after, you know, miserably dying. And there's also a time on the level too. So it could be that um, I need a green switch to get down there. If you want to open up the switch or to get the metal, you need to like speed run this. I don't know, but we found the exit. So let's just not make it harder on ourselves than it needs to be. So we found a disc. We saw the green chip, but we couldn't get it. And we didn't even see the metal. So there we go. I wonder if I can go get some more info on this. I now have six, so I can go to a lot of different levels. Um, my fastest time is five minutes and 49 seconds, right? Um, this is probably completely ill-advised, but what if I try to beat this really fast? Right? Like, what if I try to speedrun it 
and get it under, you know, a certain amount of time. And see what that means. You know what happened when I died, by the way? I lost all of my scrap. Because I had a hundred or something like that. And now I have zero. Also, uh, you'll notice when I was fighting that dude, he didn't do damage to me when he touched me. So you don't even have to necessarily um, fight them, I guess. You know, oh, that guy does damage. He's like, I'll hurt you. Like, if you're going fast, see this door, a mysterious door, it won't open. Yeah, okay. Can't get through that at the moment. All right, gotcha. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I keep forgetting that I'm trying to go fast. That's that's not a good thing if you're trying to speed run the level. Yeah, there's there's probably no reason to even fight these guys. Yeah, I'll just kind of do this. Um. So that was reasonably fast, not great, but um, we got scrap and I don't know, it didn't do anything. So that's not, that wasn't a ticket or I didn't do it fast enough, but that's okay. So let me see myself. Um, I have six out of 71 chips. I have one disc and how much scrap do I have? 286. Oh no, you do get your scrap. You, it just like stores or resets when you get back to this point, perhaps. I'm not sure. All right. So this is a six door. So we can definitely get in this purple pipe because we have six chips. Let's go. All right. Oh, boy. Take them down. All right. There's the way out over there. Okay. Okay. And this is electricity, but there is something above me. There's a green switch, but I don't know how to, you know, hit that. My jump isn't quite high enough. All right. Now, I could go over to the right. Right. And what is this? You found a health module. Bring it back to Doc's workshop to increase your max HP. Oh, cool. All right, great. So we can get more health. How about that? This guy looks nasty. He's got spikes everywhere. All right, this guy's shooting at you. You hate to see it. There's something giant on this level that is, like, crushing the ground, and it's shaking and quaking. Um, all right, so the exclamation point was showing me that I did something to the environment over here by flipping that switch, which was open this door. Um, oh. Or not. I opened this door. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. I, uh, misgaged that. All right, let's drop down. Give me that scrap. All right. So I don't know if there's anything below me. As far as I can tell, you can't, like, look down. So I'm just going to do a really light jump. Break this guy. And great. Now, what's over here? Oh my gosh. It's the metal. Yes. We can bring it to Sarge to upgrade something. Oh man, I'm starting to feel great. We can upgrade our weapon. Oop, we hit the green switch. All right, let me just save it real quick. And then we'll go back over here. Now we flip the greenie. We have two out of three. And greenie opens up this for us. So we can get another switch there. Now there is... Uh, you can use these guys to walk on. Yep, they've got the caution tape on their heads. So they can move through lava. And this is the pounding thing. Uh, a notice is posted on the wall. Listen up, workbots. Don't go recklessly jumping into lava. If you're not a heat resistant, just hitch a ride with someone who is. Our lava reserves are starting to get gunked up with metal. Do your part to stop pollution. With love, management. With love, indeed. All right, so we'll just wait for our dude here. Man, look at that steam. Now that's lava. Music in this game is pretty on point. 
All right, bam. And we got it. Get back to work. Look at that guy. What's over here? Um, okay, death machines. And then, oh, I stepped in the lava. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to do that. I almost died. Uh, but I want to go this way because I saw that there was the special chip over here. So let's see if we have what it takes to get it. Oh. Now, this is interesting. Is this, like... I don't know if, like, if I was at a full head of steam, if I could just run across this, um, or if I need to be jumping. But I'm doing it the cowardly way, um, which is like that. And the exit's over there. So we could get the exit, right? I mean, that's a possibility. But I could also try to fall and get the chip. Yes, we got it. All right, so we got the bonus chip, and we can hit the exit, which we automatically do. So I, I, I kind of actually wanted to go further on that level uh, to to go over to the right. I, I guess I went the wrong way. What's this guy say? Hey, you found one of Sarge's medals. Be sure to take it to the armory at the top of the dump. They can upgrade your weapon if you have enough scrap. I do have enough scrap, so let's do that. So I could go back to that level, and presumably what I would find over there would be um, this the music disc for Duke, because that's the only thing that I didn't get from that level. If, you, if every single possible item is displayed on the level select screen that you can find. Let's get you fixed up. Um, install one health module. Free. There you go. One shiny new health module. Sweet, we're up to four. Let's get you fixed up. So a tech unit locator is one blueprint, and a reinforced chassis is at two blueprints. I don't have any blueprints. All right, but we now have four hit points, which just seems awesome. Okay, let's go over here. Oh my god, I've fallen. Right, go up here, and let's go see Sarge. Sarge, oh, Sarge, we're coming for you, sort of. Just give me a moment, Sarge. I gotta go this way. All right. And we're going to fly over here. And we're going to go over here. And Sarge is chilling here. Sarge, I got the medal. Looking for an upgrade, son? Medals, one. All right. So, do we want to upgrade rate of fire, speed, or power? Uh, power seems like the way I want to go. Wendy, ten, huh. I've got a work order. I'm on it, Sarge. Upgrade coming up. Boom. We did it. All done. Affirmative. Upgrade complete. So let's see if we can find it here. Uh, and... Yes. So you can see underneath my character portrait on the left, I have four empty boxes beneath me, which I'm guessing are some kind of, like, traversal navigation upgrades. And then you see... Uh, rate of fire, shot speed, and power. And I have one out of five levels of power filled up on the bar over there. Tremendous. All right, let's get out of here. All right. And let's go down. Excelente. I have to see what a drink does at this point. What's it? Welcome. What'll it be? Give me this grape grease. You got it. Enjoy. Oh, it changes your color. That's so great. So it's just a cosmetic way to change your color. Cool. Hey, Carl. Want to listen to some tunes? Yes, please. Uh, we've got the title music dive. Uh, fantastic. All right. Cool. And let's see. Did this guy finish yet? Nah, he's not done yet. Cool. All right, awesome. Okay, so we finished the first two levels. And, oh, you can see it. I feel like my bullet got a little bit bigger, maybe, but I could just be imagining that. And let's see. So we did it, buddy. Hey, how are you enjoying your new life? I'm having a great time. All right, so let's see. We now have 10 chips and you can see yeah the only thing i missed was that cd and or the music disc and yep we go down here and there's a nine and there's a 12 you need more chips to enter indeed cool all right so we beat the first two levels 
we upgraded our health, we upgraded the power of our weapon, we changed our color, and we got a great look at this game. Everyone, I am so curious to know what you think of this. I am having a great time with it. It's such a, uh, a treat, you can tell, um, just as Robot Name Fight is, or a Robot Name Fight, I should say, it's a passion project, you know, it's a labor of love throwing back to, uh, you know, presumably the developer's favorite games, that, and it shines through in the game. I'm having a very good time with it. It, it comes from, you know, my era of gaming, so I have a special affinity for it, and I think it's very nice, the learning curve so far, the music, the, the story is charming, the graphics, so I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know, have you played it? What do you think about it? And um, what are your thoughts and opinions after seeing me play it for a little bit? Everyone, thank you so much for watching, and thank you to the developers for... Uh, getting me a copy of this amazing game to check out. Everyone, I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Take care.